Hi, teacher. Hi, Johnny. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you. Oh, marvelous. Very good. Hi, Edwin Eliseo. Hello, teacher. How are you? I am fine, teacher, and you? I'm great, thank you. Just give me a second, guys. All right, very good. So, Daniel, welcome. Very good. I see today you're not working today, Daniel. Thank you, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Fine. I'm great. You're not working today, Daniel? No, I am. I am <laughs> at my home. <laughs> Excellent. Very nice. Very good. I'm happy. Hi, Lisette. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Good. Good. <laughs> All right, guys. Very good. So today we're going to finish officially unit one. All right. Acuérdense que como la semana pasada tuvimos descanso martes, entonces hoy terminamos la unidad uno. All right. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Johnny, ¿cómo va con la plataforma? ¿Por qué tarea va? ¿Se recuerda? Eh, a seis. Ah, excelente. O sea, ya terminó la primera entonces, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Very good. What about Lisette, Carlos Roberto, Jorge? I finished picture. Ah, excelente, Daniel. Thank you. Ok, muy bien. Jorge, estamos preguntando cómo van con lo de la plataforma y las tareas. ¿Todo bien? Sí, yo creo que ya me puse el día, teacher. Excelente, Jorge. Muy bien. Thank you. De hecho, voy a revisar ya mañana... Eh, mañana por la mañana porque no creo en la noche pero igual para ver cómo van todos los demás Carlos, Lisette, Edwin cómo van con las, las tareas de la plataforma yo ya terminé la otra semana teacher. excellent very good Lisette así me gusta very good Oscar, Edilson, Carlos cómo vamos con la plataforma eh, en mi caso ahora las terminé teacher ok Very good, thank you. Excelente, al día entonces. Carlos Roberto, ¿se recuerda más o menos cómo va? Muy bien, también. Excelente, very nice. Wow, guys, yo sabía. <laughs> very nice, thank you so much for that. Okay, so we are going to continue with the unit one. Okay, nos quedamos pendiente de revisar un ejercicio, ¿verdad que sí? I remember that you had an exercise pending. Quiero ver, era el ejercicio del manual. Hoy sí puedo compartir. Page 12, number 5. Excellent, very good. Let me just check. It's okay, page... Page 12, number 5. I think, no. I think it is. No, fue una que usted nos, nos asignó. Sí, yo creo que fue. Oh. Creo que este, ahorita se los comparto. Creo que eran dos. Uno que yo compartí y el otro del manual igual. Revisemos acá. Este también, ¿verdad? Page, si era el exercise 5. Page 16, exercise 5. Que les dije, este lo van a hacer rapidito. Oh. ¿Verdad? Yeah, ¿Se recuerdan yeah. de eso? Y luego el otro que yo les compartí. All right, very good. Excellent. Lizette, veamos aquí. Complete the statements using should or should not. Compare your answers with a partner. Okay, so Liz, can you tell me number one, luego Daniel number two, Johnny number three, Oscar Edilson number four, and Jorge, can you do number five? Teacher. Yes. Fíjese que yo no estuve en la clase anterior, no, no, no lo ah, tengo. No se preocupe, no se preocupe entonces, Jorge. A ver, Carlos, usted estuvo en la clase el, el viernes, Jorge. Jorge, perdón, Carlos Roberto. 
No, teacher, no puede estar tampoco. Ay, tampoco, ¿verdad? Ya me acordé que no estuvieron. Ajá. Fue long weekend, no, mentira. A ver, ah, vamos a ver. Bueno, ya nos vamos a repetir ahí, porque no sé si los compañeros que tienen la camarita apagada están available right now, pero ya vamos a ver. A ver, eh, Liz, number one, please. Our product should be French. Very good, Lizette. Our products should be fresh. Excellent. Number two. Who's doing this number two? Comp this company shouldn't forget about quantity. Excellent, Daniel. This company shouldn't or should not forget about quality. Very good. Thank you. Johnny, can you do number three, please? We should explore new markets. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you. Um, Oscar de Dilso, number four. Okay. The machinery shouldn't be old. Excellent. It shouldn't be old. Very nice. Hi, Carlos Eduardo. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi. Carlos, do you have the answer for number five, Carlos Eduardo? Okay. All the employees uh, should... Use the machinery. Machinery. Uh, ma machinery. Machinery. Excellent. Very nice. Thank you, Carlos. Nice to see okay. you again. Very good. Okay. Thank you. So here we we are practicing should or should not. Okay. Depending on the of the context of the sentence, right? Para los que no estuvieron el viernes con nosotros. Eh, vimos el uso del verbo modal should in affirmative. Voy a dejar de compartir aquí. El verbo modal should in affirmative and should not in negative. All right. Decíamos on Friday que el should or should not, we use it to give advice. Okay. To give like something like our opinion. All right. Maybe if it's good or not, but that's how we use it. Como decimos que el should y el shouldn't pertenece a la familia de los verbos modales, usted no va a cambiar nada, ¿verdad? Yo voy, yo voy a decir, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, should, um, should swim every day. No voy a decir, Carlos Eduardo Melgar, should swims every day. Esa S no va porque en los verbos modales eh, se omite porque ellos tienen sus propias reglas. Cuando hablamos de negative en el should, decimos should plus not para hacerlo negative. No usamos ni el don't, ni el doesn't, ni el didn't, ni cualquier otro auxiliar. We don't use those, ¿ok? Entonces, eso veíamos más o menos para los compañeros que no nos pudieron acompañar el viernes. Veíamos el uso del verbo modal should y shouldn't, ¿ok? Y eso es lo que estábamos terminando de ver ahorita porque no nos alcanzó el tiempo para revisar el Friday. Voy a tomar asistencia ahorita y luego nos vamos con el ejercicio que yo les compartí y lo vamos haciendo juntos. All right, veamos aquí. Hi, María Melina and hi, Trini. Rocío, Kevin, no los había saludado. Hello. Good night. Good evening. Nice to see you. Hi, right. teacher. Thank hi. you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Let me see here. Solo déjenme poner acá. Okay, so we have here. Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Thank you. A ver. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present teacher. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Thank you. Present. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Juan José Conrado. Julio César Merino González. 
Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sánchez. Gracias. Thank you. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Corea Spice. Thank you. Hold on, guys. Just give me a second. All right. Uh, Rocío Katia Maritza Martinez Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you. Rosa Lisset de Paz Hernández. Vicky Dinora Gutierrez de Durán. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. All right, hold on. Ah, María, no, Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. María Emelina Iraeta de Salinas. And thank you, Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you guys, very good. All right, so let's continue. Julio, hi Julio. Very nice to see you, Julio. Ya me tenía así como, ¿y qué le pasó a Julio si nunca había faltado a clase? Sí, es que el viernes estaba very, very tired. Ah, está bien. Ok. Sí, yo dije, ¿qué le pasó a Julio? All right, very good. Pero aquí estamos ya, Julio. Very nice to yeah. see you. <laughs> very good ok guys so let's see veamos acá yo creo que el otro que compartí con ustedes fue ahorita denme un segundo siempre da the shouldn't shouldn't cierto yes yeah alright I think it's this one alright Veamos entonces. I think I'm going to share right now. Revisen si es este. Yes, no? Yes. Yes, yes Johnny. Yeah, okay, very good. All right, thank you, Liz. Thank you, Johnny. Very good. So it says, um, remember that here we're using should, should and shouldn't. This is the question, should you, all right? And te ponemos el should, and then this is like the way we answer. Let's see, number number one, it's almost eight o'clock, all right? What is the rest of the sentence, volunteers? Mm. What you are now? You should go to work now. Very good. It's almost eight o'clock. You should go to work now. Very nice. Thank you. Number two. Who wants to do number two? Me teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Then Johnny. Johnny, you can do number three. Okay. Should Alex cook Hello. dinner? Yes, he should. Should Alex cook dinner? Very good. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Johnny. What about number three? El otro compañero que dijo me también a la parte de Johnny. A ver, and number three, who wants to do number three? Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, you want to do number three, my friend? Okay. My friend should try to quit smoking. Excellent. My friend should try to quit smoking. Very nice. Number four. Como no estaría number four? Who wants to try to do number four? Me, teacher. Okay, Maria Melina. We should stay at home. We should not go out. Yes, very good. Thank you. We shouldn't or should not go out. Perfect. Number five. <laughs> volunteer. Yes? Please, uh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, what should what should do to face look it the face? Ah, this is an extra exercise, Julio. This is not in your book. Ah, okay. This is extra exercise. Uh huh. Okay, okay very good. Julio, si quieres le toma foto. Oye, que eso fue lo que trabajamos extra el el viernes. All right, very good. Number Five. Who wants to do number five? Volunteers. Uh huh. Go ahead. Me, teacher Carlos. Yes, yes Carlos. Uh, 
Should they watch TV all day? No, they should not. No, they shouldn't. Yeah, no, they should not. That's not a very good idea. Number six. Who wants to do number six? Volunteers to do uh, number six? To our Lord, very sick. Mm -hmm. He should see a doctor. Yeah, Stuart, thank you, Alexander. And Stuart looks very sick. He should see a doctor. Very nice. Number seven. Who wants to do seven? Volunteers? Oscar uh, Esquivel. Hi, Oscar. Oscar Esquivel. Hi. Uh, good night. Good evening. Ah, <laughs> uh, good evening. Oh, yes. no. no, that's okay. No se preocupe. Uh huh. Bueno. Seven, verdad? Yes, please. <laughs> Seven, sure. Sería bueno. Uh, you shouldn't drive a car without wearing your cell belt. Excellent, Oscar. You shouldn't or should not mm -hmm. drive a car without wearing your seat belt. Seat belt is el cinturón del carro. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you. Yes, very good, Oscar. Nice. Victoria, qué alegre verla. Hi, Victoria. Solo por eso, Victoria, hagamos la ocho. Bye. <laughs> what should we eat for dinner tonight? Uh -huh. What should we eat for dinner tonight? Very good, Victoria. Nice. What should we eat? ¿Verdad? Very nice. Thank you. Edwin Eliseo, number nine, Edwin. And there's a fire in the kitchen. Uh -huh. uh, what? Uh, what uh, shouldn't we do? Shouldn't or solo should, Edwin? Uh, shouldn't. Or oh, should, should not. ¿Por qué la puesto negativa, Edwin? There's a fire in the kitchen. Ay, imagínese fire. que yo le digo, ¡Ay, se está quemando algo en la cocina. ¿Qué le voy a preguntar yo? No se preocupe que ya van a ir los bomberos. <laughs> yes, of course, all right. Pero decimos, ¿qué debemos That's hacer, true. verdad? What should. Tendría que ser en afirmativo, Edwin. What should, <laughs> What should we true. do? All okay. right, very good. Number 10. Let's see. Um... Vicky, hi Vicky, hi Cristina. No sé si están por ahí las chicas. All right, veamos. Alexander, can you try to do number 10, please? Okay, teacher. Please be quiet. You should make some more. Alexander, ¿Puedo verlo más? ¿Perdone? No puedo ver, es que me apareció el mensaje. ¿A media no hora? No, ahí está. Please be quiet. You should make some more noise in the library. In the library. Should or shouldn't, Alexander? Mm, shouldn't. Shouldn't, that's right. You shouldn't. Very nice. Thank you. All right. A ver. Um, Jorge, tratamos de hacer la número 11, Jorge. Tenemos que usar o should o shouldn't. Su micrófono, Jorgito. No, no, thank you. Um, when, when should I, I take this? Medicine. Excellent, Jorge. Very good. Yes, yes. When should I take this medicine? Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Carlos Roberto, intentemos la 12, Carlos. Okay, should I press the red button? No, you shouldn't. All right, no voy a hacer. Very nice. Thank you. Oscar Edilson, can you do number 13? 
It's very late. We should go to bed. Excellent. Very nice. Liz, can you do number 14? Liz? How, no? much, uh -huh. how much money uh, should so, so I bring with to the store? Very good. How much money should I bring with me to the store? Very nice. And Rocio? Can you try to do number 15, Rocio? Yes. Uh, you should cross the street until the light is green. You shouldn't. Mm -hmm. Should or shouldn't, Rocio? Shouldn't. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. Thank you. Because of the context, you shouldn't cross the street until the light is green. All right. Very yeah. nice, guys. Thank you. Ahora. De ese vocabulario que estaba allí, que lo hicieron el viernes y ahorita lo hemos vuelto a ver. Do you have any questions del vocabulario que está ahí? En el ejercicio, ¿alguna pregunta? Of the vocabulary, del significado de cualquiera de esas. ¿O estábamos bien con todo? All right, very good. Okay. Excellent, guys. Very nice. Thank you. Solo déjeme, a ver, tenemos, déme un segundito, please. Give me one second, guys, please. Just give me a second here. Okay, let me see here. Okay, so let's let's go back right now to our book. Vamos a seguir con el libro para terminar oficialmente la, numer, la unidad número uno. All right, so let's go back here, guys, to your book. This is what we did last class, right? On Friday, we finished this part. Y fue lo que estábamos, entramos haciendo antes de tomar la asistencia. All right. Esto ya lo van a hacer, donde dice número 6. Uh, your turn, write a six-line paragraph about the equipment at your company. Use should and should not. Eso ya lo vamos a hacer, pero primero vamos a hacer esto acá. Vocabulary practice. Listen to your teacher read the conversation and practice in pairs. A ver, we have John and Ben. We were busy, we were very busy yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? Right now is three for this year, and the cost is thirty per thirty dollars per unit. That's Great. All right. Now, remember that right now we are practicing the vocabulary that we studied during the whole unit. Okay. So we have to practice this. Let me see. Necesito un John y necesito un Ben. Vamos a hacer varios Johns y varios Bens. But first, the, thank you. John. All right. Creo que fue Alexandro se me dijo primero, ¿verdad? Yes. All right. And then uh, Alexander with Johnny y después va Julio y vamos a ponerle a alguien, a otro compañero o compañera Julio. All right. Alexander, you're John. And Johnny, you're Ben. Please. We were busy. No, we were very busy yesterday. We mm -hmm. had a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? 
right now. It's three for this year. And the cost is 30 per unit. That's great. Very good, thank you. All right, Julio, you're going to be John. Y necesito un Ben. Un Ben o una Ben. Mi teacher, Marina. Thank you, all right. Okay, Julio, take it away. Okay, uh, we are very busy yesterday. We have a lot of customers. We did. I think we need to start our inventory. Yes, we don't um, have enough quantity of chocolate caramel. What was our inventory turnover for chocolate caramel? What's about the cost? All right, now is free for this year. I mean, and, and the cost is waiting per unit. That's great. Very good, Julio. Very good, Maria Melina. Excellent. Okay, one more, John, and one more, Ben. Only one, guys. Me, teacher. Thank you. Sure. All right. Edwin. Jorge and Edwin, very good. Okay, so Jorge, you're John, and Edwin, you're Ben. Okay, we were very, very bad yesterday. We had a lot of customers. We did, I think we need to stock our inventory. Yes, we don't, I, we don't have enough um, quantity. Oh, chocolate caramel. Uh, what was our inventory to know for chocolate caramel? What about the cost? It's for this year and the cost is 30 you. That's great. Excellent. Thank you, guys. Very well read. Okay, so here we have, we were very busy. Remember that this pronunciation is busy. All right. So we cannot forget that pronunciation is busy. All right. So we were very busy yesterday. Okay. Then we have, we had a lot of customers. We did, I think we need to stock our inventory. Stock, inventory, all right? Then it says, yes, we don't have enough quantity, all right? What was our inventory turn over? Um, yeah, oops. Yeah, turn over for chocolate caramel. What about the cost? Right now is $3.00 for this year and the cost is 30 per unit. That's great, okay? Now, what I have highlighted, these four words, well, five, BC, stock, inventory, quantity, and turnover. Do you understand the meaning of all those words? What is meaning turnover? Turnover is like facturación, Emelina. Okay, thank you. Okay, very good. Yes, very nice. Anybody else with another question? Acuérdense que podemos revisar significado y pronunciación. All right. Any other question? significado de enough. 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 Enough, yes. ¿Sabe qué? Lo vamos a también a marcar acá. Enough. Es suficiente. Okay. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Daniel. Very good. Anything else? Thank you. Alguien más con alguna otra pregunta o algo yes, que sir. Yes, tell me. I knew the the word turnover. Yes. Y, eh, rotar o dar vuelta. Sí. 
Claro, pero acuérdense que en este caso se, depende el contexto, ¿verdad? Y como están hablando de dinero y todo, esa, eh, todo ese tipo de vocabulario, Johnny, y por el contexto nos vamos más por el, 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 la facturación del inventario. Uh -huh. All right, porque no tendría como mucho sentido eh, lo, lo otro por el contexto, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Michelle, es que el turno... El turnover se ocupa, digamos, cuando jugamos, cuando juegan, como en el básquet, lo he oído yo, el turnover. Ah, oh, puede ser, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. También, si yo le digo, lo que decía Johnny, ¿verdad? Si ponemos, yo le digo, turn it over, es como que dele vuelta. All right, también. Entonces, depende del contexto. Very good. Thank you. Anybody else with any other question? Uh, teacher. Yes. In this case, Fitzy. Is pronunciation is thirteen dollars or not necessary? Thirty dollars. Thirty. Is necessary dollars? Um, I mean, usually we say it, Carlos. We say how much is it? We don't say ah, it is one, one what, one dollar. All right. So yes, it, it, usually we use the currency, Carlos. All right, so I think I would recommend for you to use $30. Porque podría ser 30 cents. <laughs> All right, so just to make sure we say $30. Mm -hmm. Very good, Carlos, thank you. Okay. All right, so this is what we're going to do, guys. Okay, I want you to do this. Vamos a hacer ejercicio dos. All right, que están acá, eso lo van a hacer en grupo. Exercise two, match the definitions with the words below. Esas son las palabras, and these are the definitions. Ese es el primero que van a hacer. El segundo ejercicio que van a hacer con las palabras que yo he subrayado, highlighted, BC, stock, inventory, enough, quantity, turnover, Necesito que me hagan cualquier oración que usted quiera usando el vocabulario acá. Si lo quieren presente, en futuro, en pasado, como usted quiera, usando should or shouldn't, it doesn't matter. Lo que yo necesito es que ocupe de forma correcta el vocabulario que tenemos acá. Ese es el ejercicio 2. Y, y nos vamos a regresar a la página anterior. Acuérdense que hoy nos toca eh, review, ¿verdad? Vamos a, re a regresar page 16 y vamos a hacer este exercise, your turn. Con su compañero, por ejemplo, yo estoy trabajando con Lisette, ¿verdad? Entonces, el, el equipo que Lisette tiene en su eh, empresa, en la oficina, es diferente al que yo tengo, ¿verdad? Entonces, Lisette va a pensar en tres y yo voy a pensar en las otras tres, pero yo se las voy a decir a ella para que ella también tenga en total las seis, ¿verdad? Us, aquí sí, necesito que you guys use should or shouldn't. ¿Ok? Yes, yo sé que en las veterinarias de repente están las básculas, ¿verdad? Para pesar a los, los perritos. Entonces, yo, una podría ser you should not step on the scale. ¿Verdad? Un humano, porque es para, para, para mascotas, no para, la, para los cachorros, ¿verdad? O los perritos. All right? Entonces, decimos usando el equipo y usando should or should not. Ok, entonces, three activities, guys. Repito, activity number one is exercise two. The definitions with the words. Terminan ese, se van a la conversación. Tómele foto porque yo subrayé estas. All right, y hacen cualquier oración usando this vocabulary. Y la tercera actividad se van a hacer esto. Ok, yes. Dicho sería una, una oración por... Eh, cada parte que se vaya a bailar, o solo una razón. En, en este ejercicio de la. ¿En cuál ejercicio, Lisette? ¿En, ¿En este la, seis? En la, no, en la uno. Ah, no, es una oración por palabra. Entonces, en este ah. caso van a tener seis oraciones, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, ok. All right, very good. Excellent, guys. Dejo de compartir acá. And we go to work right now. Espero que todos puedan participar y si no me avisan, porfa, porque veo algunas cámaras apagaditas.
A ver, Vicky, Rocío, Antrini, ¿no pueden entrar ahorita? No, teacher, yo no okay. estoy en Rocío. Ok, no se preocupe, no se preocupe. Bye, de, todas, de todas maneras, había quedado con Cristi y creo que Cristi tampoco, así que no hay problema. Gracias, gracias. <risa> ah, ok, Cristina, no se preocupe, quédese aquí. Igual ahorita Vicky no puede, that's ok, no se preocupe. Richard, ¿con quién me mandó? En, el, en la sala 1, está con Oscar Edilson. Ok, me puede enviar. Bueno, la voy a mover dos veces. La segunda vez ya va con él, oye. Ok, gracias. A usted. Um, tenemos una duda acá con, con Giovanni. Sí, dígame. Eh, teníamos que con las palabras que usted haya sombreado o, o, o subrayó. Sí. Completar las oraciones de estas cinco oraciones. Ver, o tenemos que hacer cinco nuevas. Sí, ahorita, ahorita quiero ver. Pueden ver. Eso sí. Vale, el ejercicio dos. Con el en el ejercicio 2 tienen que usar estas que están aquí abajo, ¿verdad? No las habíamos visto. Que son las definiciones. Ah, sí. sí, no, no. Voy a llegar con las verdes que he colocado aquí arriba. Ok, luego terminan ese ejercicio, luego van con la 2. All right, con mi ejercicio 2, que sería hacer una oración usando, un, uh, usando todas las palabras, ¿verdad? Una oración por palabra. Okay. Y luego terminan haciendo esta, que sería tres Jorge y tres Alexander. All right, yes. Aquí sí tienen que usar should or shouldn't. Pero en la, en la, en la de abajo, en esta, donde están las palabras con verde. Arriba. Okay. Vamos a hacer una oración por, por palabra, ¿no? Así es, aquí, sí. No, no importa que si lleva should o no, cualquier oración. Cualquier oración media vez lleva bici en algún lado. Ok, puede ser presente, pasado, como usted guste. Gracias. Ok, bueno. Thank you, teacher. Ok.
totalmente de, eh, de computer, ¿verdad? Son computadoras, impresoras y esas cosas, printer. Eh, podríamos hablar al respecto. Por ejemplo, lo que le decía. Okay. You should not, or you shouldn't, shut down your PC before you uh, finish your work. Ok, entonces esa sería la primera, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, pienso, no sé qué opino. This product, ok. Sí, ajá. Ajá. Ok, va. Y la otra palabra era. Ah, uh, turn It over. Turn over, sí. Uh -huh. We made 200 turn over. <laughs> We need help. <laughs> Ah, ahí está la teacher. Yes. You guys are doing great. <laughs> okay. We make... Um, We make... Tour over. Era como... Facturación. Facturar, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. But ah, we make... if I want to say um, um, facturas, um, I can say turnover also? No, es más como el, como el proceso de facturar. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this case, I can say um, something like... Uh, Preparamos 200 facturas, no, no podría decir eso, ¿verdad? You can say we make uh, or we, um, we paid. Yeah, you can use it, Manila. Mani. It's not very commonly used, but you can uh -huh. use it. Uh -huh. Okay. Puede ser también imprimir, ¿verdad? Sí. 200 facturas. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, uh -huh. We need to use print to print cover in the sentence. We, entonces tendría que ser we make to print, ¿verdad? O solo print, we print. We print. 200. 200. 200. Uh -huh. 200 turn over. Okay. Turn over. Okay. Okay. Hi, Nancy. Nancy, ahorita sus compañeros están terminando unas actividades. Hoy, en un par de minutitos, regresan.
Hi, Kevin. Hi, teacher. Acaba de entrar Kevin, hoy ya estaba. Ah, um, entré un rato. Pero acabo de ver entonces. Ajá, es que ya lo había visto. <ríe> Yo dije, ¿será que sí lo vi? <ríe> Very good. Ahorita están entrando ya los compañeros de la actividad que están haciendo y luego seguimos. Oye. Es que me salí porque como veo por grupos, entonces yo voy a estar en un grupo y no me a estar haciendo nada. Okay. Johnny, did you finish the exercise? No. You didn't finish? No, I didn't finish. We didn't finish. Okay. So wait, wait where did you stop? In, in the, which exercise? In the page uh, 16, exercise mm -hmm. 6. Okay. All right. The last one, right? Yes. Okay, that's fine. All right, guys. I'm going to take the attendance right now, and then we're going to check the exercise, okay? Let me see here. Um, Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Present. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos, uh, Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present, teacher. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Yeah, present, teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present, teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present, teacher. José David Rivera Aquino. Present, teacher. Juan José Conrado. Julio César Merino González. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Thank you, Misael. Nancy Lisset Rodríguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Present. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez. Cubías. Present teacher. Rosa Lisette de Paz Hernández. Present teacher. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present teacher. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Excellent. And Daniel Antonio Luna. Present teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you. We're just missing Juan Jose. He's the only one that's missing tonight. Okay, guys. Let's, let's see. Let's check this together. Let's see what we have here. Exercise number two. Match the definitions with the words below. Number one, it says a particular amount of anything. What would be the word for this definition, guys? Quantity. Quantity, teacher. Quantity. Quantity. Okay, quantity, very nice. Number two, a complete listing of merchandise or a stock on hand. Inventory. Inventory? Inventory. Okay, the price paid to get something. Cost. Excellent, cost. The number of times a, a company sells its inventory a year. Inventory turnover. That's right. Very good. To get more product in the inventory. Quantity. No? Stock. 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 Mm -hmm. Very nice. Yes. Quantity was number one, I believe. A particular amount of anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Very good. Thank you. Daniel, can you... Um, Daniel, can you give me or can you give us the sentence with the word BC? Okay, teacher, hold on. Let me. Uh, at this moment, I am very busy. 
Yes, because you're, you're you are in your English class. <laughs> All right, very good. Yes, of course, very good. Let's see. Um, David, stock. Number two, the we have under bags in stock. Okay, all right, very good. Oscar Edilson, what about inventory? Okay, the supermarket is closed for inventory. Ah, oh, the supermarket is closed due to inventory, very good. Very nice, thank you. Let me see here, what about um, Carlos Eduardo Maldonado, enough. Enough. So, should you have inventory and now? Okay. Okay. Should you have enough inventory? I think it's better. Switch it. Ah, okay. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Very nice. Lisette, what about quantity? What quantity of the product to have to have how? Okay, very nice. Thank you. And let's see, Johnny, what about turnover? The turnover of bags of two pounds is $60 per bail. Oh my goodness, Johnny. Very, very sophisticated sentence. Very good, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> very nice, guys. All right, let me see. Um, no sé si lograron llegar hasta acá. Creo que muchos sí, pero no sé si todos eh, lograron terminar. It doesn't matter if you did not finish, we can think of one. A ver, José David, tell me I one know. sentence. Usted escoja de, to de todas las que escribieron ahí, ya sea should or shouldn't, just one, David. Okay. Um, you should turn off power supply in scale of emergency. 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 Yes. Emergency. Very good, David. Thank you. Let me see here. What about um Jorge Arqueta? No sé si está por ahí. All right. Kevin, can you think of one sentence about the equipment in your company that you have to use should or should not? Uh, Excuse me, Kevin. Should. Uh huh. Tell me one sentence using should or shouldn't, and yeah. and a piece of equipment from your job. Oh. All right, veamos ahí, no se preocupe, ya vamos a regresar aquí. Um, Victoria, do you have a sentence? Yes. You should not forget the passwords, your email. Oh, very good. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. All right. What about um, Alexander? Tell me one sentence, please. I should arrive, arrive more early at my work. Okay. So you should arrive earlier to uh to your work or to your job all right okay that's fine let me see oscar esquivel do you have a sentence um, we should learn to use fire extinguisher ah fire extinguisher very good oscar nice sentence daniel and sentence from your job um when working, I should use protective equipment. Okay, very nice. Yes, of course. Very good. 
Uh, let me see. Trini, can you give me one sentence about should or shouldn't and a, and a piece of equipment in your job, please? The children run down the stairs. That's right. They shouldn't run down the stairs. Yeah, they may break something. Very good. Oscar Edilson, a sentence, please. Okay. okay. I do give technical support every day. Excellent. Okay, very good. Katia? About tool, teacher. Or shouldn't. You, you choose. You decide. You shouldn't drive a lift truck. Ah, okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, what about Misael? Tell me another sentence, Misael. In short, wear with a mask. Ah, yes, we all should. Very good. Johnny, a sentence. You shouldn't be smoking in front of the machines. <gasps> yeah, of course. Very nice. Maria Melina. <laughs> Tell me a sentence, Maria Melina. Um, we shouldn't use the computer when it is not working. Mm -hmm. We should to, you, we should to call that technical support. Ah, Maria Melina, revisemos esa última parte. You should to call o solo you should call, Maria Melina? We should to call. Ajá, quítele el tú. No lleva el tú. Ah, ok. Directamente va el verbo. We should call. Excellent. The technical support. Excellent. Very nice. Ok. And Julio, tell me one sentence, Julio. Two sentences I have. How many? Um, this is um, um, in my company, they they should use satellite technology. Oh, my goodness, Julio! All <laughs> right, <laughs> very nice. In my company, should not um, uh, use machine machinery all. Oh, old machinery. Wow, Julio. Very nice sentences. Very good, Julio. Very good. Okay, guys, let's continue then here. Let me just check something for a second. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, let's, let's go back to our book right now. Let's go back to uh, page 18. It says unit one reading, all right, manufacturing. Read the descriptions of the chocolate products below and complete the chart with product specification, all right? So here you have a spicy peanut toffee, uh, turtle candies, chocolate covered caramels, chocolate dipped uh, nuggets, all right? So you have here, what I want you to do Hold on. All right. Okay. So I want you, you're going to go back to your, to your groups and you're going to work on page 18. All right. You have to read. La idea es que estén juntos y, y, y compartan lectura. All right. So you have to read it together and then you have to classify it with this. The name, for example, is spicy peanut toffee. What is the code? What is the size? All right, let's, hopefully you're gonna find the information there. Okay, what is the, what are the ingredients? The weight and the price per unit. So I want you to work on this chart right now. Okay, guys? Siempre trabajando en grupo. Solo entiendo que las dos compañeras todavía no pueden. All right, everybody else is able to. Okie dokie, let's go guys, working on that one. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Hola, hola, hola. Pero ahí oh. en el ejercicio donde dice code, code, código. No está. No, ajá, no, no sé cuál es, porque en la descripción no leo que diga algo así, no sé. Vaya, en el code, quiero ver. Yeah, it doesn't have a code. 
Bueno, no, si no hay código, no hay problema. Tratemos de llenar lo más, la más, la, lo, de más información que sí tenemos. All right? Okay. Thank you. Sorry, teacher. Nuevamente. All right, what about um, Trini, Carlos, Eduardo Maldonado, Rocío, Kevin, Vicky. Ah, no, Vicky no. Everybody else is waiting for you. Kevin va a lograr entrar ahorita. Trini me escucha. Sí. Hola, ¿va a poder entrar al grupo, Trini? Sí. ¿Ya todavía tiene la invitación o ya no? Eh, Nancy Lisset la puedo la puedo mandar a su grupo. O todavía no puede. Ok, Nancy, thank you. Ahorita la mando. Ya la envié, Nancy. Carlos Roberto. Mándeme, por favor. Ahorita, Trini, ahorita. La voy a mandar dos veces, Trini, porque ya... Eh... Ok. Ahorita voy. Vaya, Trini, ya.
¿Por qué tan solita, teacher? <risa> I'm working. <risa> <risa> ya salió, Vicky. Ay, caminando voy. Ay, no, no vamos a mostrar para que vea que caminando voy. Y, si, y sigue helado por ahí todavía. Ay, sí, está bien frío. Ni se mira, mira, caminando voy. Sí. Pero, oye, pero va cerquita, ¿verdad? Sí. <risa> sí, voy cerquita. Vaya. Ya cuando llegue a la casa, eh, me avisa para poderla ingresar a los grupos, pero ya casi vamos a terminar esa actividad y luego les pongo la otra. Vaya, ok, gracias. Thank you.
Hello, Johnny and David. Hello, teacher. Uh, Hello. What is the code? There are no codes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, I don't uh, think so. Unless... No, I don't think there are codes. Eso estábamos viendo por ahí en otro grupo. For example, in size, only turtle candies and chocolate covered caramels. Mm -hmm. uh, Hold on, I want to see something here. The name, the it would be turtle candies, right? Uh -huh. The size. Box sizes, size. It says, according to the book, Johnny and David, it says box size. Yes. Is six six, six units. This is here. six pieces. Porque ahí dice, pero está como raro. No sé si hay que poner una X. Ajá, on code, on code leave it blank. Si quieres solo póngale un, o un, una X. Because there, it is not given. And wait. And size, do you have, you don't have the size, right? No. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. You don't, ha I mean, we don't have all the information. All right, so try to work with the information that we have. Okay. All right. What? Where are? Uh, did you finish or not yet? No. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Veamos. Vicky, ya la veo. <risa> sí, ya llegué, teacher. ¿Y por qué salió tan tarde, Vicky? ¿O siempre pues salió estaba... tarde? No, es que estábamos adornando. Ah. Eh, ya no el niño. Ay, y bien cansado, acabamos de terminar. Sí, pero mire, lo bueno es que llega rapidito. Sí, en 10 minutos. Ajá. <risa> 
Bien, sí. rapidito. También. Super nice. All right, vamos a sacar a los chicos de los grupos. All right, guys, very good. I know this was a little bit confusing because there's some information that we don't have in the um, in the readings, all right? So let's try to figure out what we did. Let me just share that with you here. All right, everybody's back now. Okay, so here we have name of number one. What is the name for number one? Spicy uh, peanut coffee. Excellent. Nope, not, none of them. They don't have codes. All right. Okay. I invent. I, yeah. I, I invent. <laughs> one zero one. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was the other choice, right, Daniel, to make it up. Very good. Okay, what about the size of the spicy peanut toffee? They don't have it, teacher. It doesn't have a oh, size? Oh. Yeah. Okay. They, they don't have it. No, no size. Just the ingredients. Okay, what are the ingredients? Um, Buttered toffee. Mm -hmm. uh, frosted peanuts. Cayenne chili pepper, mm -hmm. spicy peanut toffee, that's it. Okay. All right. What about the weight? Do we have a weight? No, either. No. no. Right. No. What about the, yeah. Okay. What about the price per unit? One twenty-five dollars. Mm -hmm. All right. So you Seven. divided it? Seven dollars. Seven fifty dollars. <laughs> Fifty. All right, okay. Uh -huh. All right, okay. What about the turtle candies? That's the name, no code. What about the size? Oh, six six piece. pieces. Yeah, six, six pieces. pieces. Mm -hmm. Ingredients? Chocolate, pepper, uh, sorry, rich, very caramel, fresh roasted, thick and dark, almond chocolate. That's right, very good. Those are the ingredients. Do we have a weight? Oh, wait. No, no, no wait. No, uh, price no. per unit? Six. Six thirty dollars. Thirty ten. Teacher, for unit, for unit is one dollar. Um, Five twice. cents. Yeah, es que lo dividieron, ¿verdad? El seis treinta entre seis. Uh, yes, yes, teacher. Yeah, all right, so it's one dollar, yes. five cents. All right, because it says per unit. Okay, that's wow. okay, guys. Yeah, this all right. Unit. Uh -huh. okay. this, is a, this is the price for unit, teacher. Yeah, that's what it says here. Six, the teacher ten, says back with dollar. six units. It's, it's, it's very expensive. It is very <laughs> expensive, Nilos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, muy caro, muy caro. We're not going to buy those. I remember the Popeye <laughs> chocolates. They were more, like, they were cheaper. Yeah, right. one colon, one colon. One colon, <laughs> I know, eh? <laughs> Very good. Okay, number three, chocolate covered um, caramels, no code. What is the size? No size. Mm, okay. Okay, the ingredients? Chocolate yeah. and pure it's caramel. It's yeah. Size. It has a size? Also. Eight, six pieces. Six pieces? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Box with six units. Okay. 
What about the way, the price per unit? Seven dollars. Yeah. One, uh huh. One dollar is one dollar sixteen. One dollar fifteen cents. Wow. Well, all right. Oh, those Hershey's. <laughs> uh, chocolate dipped nuggets. What is the size? Do we have a size? Not to oh, no. no. Ingredients? No. Do we have ingredients? Old fashioned nuts. Honey, almonds, honey, honey and almond. dark chocolate. Oh. And dark chocolate. Yeah. Honey, almonds, vanilla, and dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Okay. Very good. Do we have a weight? No. Mm. No. No. And the price per unit? Seven dollars. Yeah. Or, and then if or, it's one fifteen, or, I think it is. Or one fifteen. Mm? That's right. Very good. Okay, guys. Very nice. All right. So we finished unit one. Okay. So tomorrow we're going to start with unit two. Okay, yeah. now, hola, yeah, very good. All right, guys. So right now, what I want us to work on is this. Give me one second, that's not it. Give me one second, please. Oh, I wanna, uh, okay. Let's see, I want you to work on this. Mm. No nos vamos a ir a ningún grupo ahorita. Nos quedamos aquí viendo esto acá. I want to show you this. Vamos a regresar a los imperatives, ¿ok? Recuerde que cuando hablamos de imperatives, hablamos de eh, instructions, all right? Or commands or orders, ¿ok? That's something that we need to remember. It says imperatives tell people what to do and what not to do. Instructions are often in imperatives. If they are used at the wrong time, imperatives can sound too direct or rude. Tenemos que tener cuidado con los imperatives, porque si yo solo vengo y le digo a María Melina, sit down, es como que, uy, ¿qué pasó, verdad? Porque es tan pesado. Si yo lo quiero suavizar, le puedo decir, sit down, please. All right, or please sit down. Pero si solo vengo donde y le digo, sit down, es como, ¡Ih! me regañó, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hice? All right, so tenemos que tener cuidado porque a veces pueden ser demasiado directos o como grosero, ¿verdad? Como muy pesado. Imperatives do not have a subject. Acuérdense que ellos omiten el subject. All right. Um, the subject is the person that the speaker says the sentence to. Verbs in imperatives are in their base Form. This means that they have no S, E, D, or I, N, G form. For am, are, and is, the base verb is be. Si yo le digo be quiet, no le digo you are quiet or he is quiet. Yo solo digo be quiet. Okay? Es como que silencio, guarde silencio. O si yo los veo a todos ahorita, por decir algo, y todos tuvieran los, los, los micrófonos encendidos, yo les digo, please be quiet, be quiet. No le digo are quiet, no le digo I'm quiet, lo ponemos como es la forma base del verbo, entonces voy a poner be, no lo conjugo. Al igual que yo le digo open the door, eh, I don't know, explain the sentence, give me the exercise, tell me the answer. No decimos ni S, ni ED, ni ING. Es la forma base del verbo. Por lo tanto, cuando lo ponemos en una oración que vamos a usar el verbo to be, vamos a poner el be. Be, I don't know, o lo que sea, ¿verdad? Be quiet, be attentive, be, be patient. ¿Ok? Entonces no lo conjugo con am, is, or are. Negative imperatives have don't or do not before the verb. So, le digo, do not um, turn off your cameras. Turn them on. Okay? Imperatives can also have words or phrases such as always, never, please, first, after that, and remember to in them. Okay? Generalmente, cuando damos una instrucción o una orden, le vamos a poner please. All right? Sounds nicer. 
Here are some examples of imperatives. Close the door. Please close the door. Don't close the door. Always close the door after you leave. Ok, entonces todos esos son ejemplos de imperatives. Si se fija, lleva variante, pero al final todos son imperatives, ok? Y ninguno lleva sujeto. All right, ok, guys? Entonces, leído eso, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Letter A. Write I for imperative next to the sentence that contains the imperative. Usted lo va a leer, no nos vamos a ir a ningún grupo, lo vamos a hacer aquí. Yo les voy a dar unos dos minutos. Vaya leyendo cada oración. Si es imperative, eh, no sé si la va a copiar, pero si, si no la copia, solo ponga número uno, y que imperative. Número dos, no es imperative, la, póngale otra seña. Solo las que son imperatives. Y luego les doy tiempo y luego lo revisamos, ¿ok? Teacher, uh, the first word, what is the mean? Ah, sir. It's like. Ah, uh, batir. Uh -huh. Or oh, okay. menear. Menear. Oh, uh, oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Pero cuando se refiere a no incluir el sujeto es al momento de que se da la, la medicación o se puede incluir al final de la oración. Teacher, teacher. Sorry, Alexander, I couldn't hear you. Tell me. Hola, alguien me estaba hablando. Hello, no? Okay. All right, did you guys finish? Yes? Yes, teacher. All right, yes. very good. Number one, yo la leo y usted me dice if it's imperative or not. Number one, is stir the milk and egg into the cake mixture. Imperative. 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 Number two, you need to follow the instructions exactly. 
No, you no, 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 no. Number three, I want you to always look both ways before you cross the road. No, 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 no. Be careful with that box, it's very heavy. Can you please pick me up at seven o'clock this evening? No, no. no, 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 no. Okay. Pass the ketchup, please. Imperative. Um, imperative, yes. Pass the ketchup. Very nice. Please don't go yet. Imperative. Very good. Don't number eight. Don't forget to charge your phone before you leave. Um, imperative. No. Imperative. Don't forget. Very good. I don't want you to cut down that tree. No. No imperative. No imperative. No imperative. Stop fighting. Imperative. Imperative. Very good. Okay. Entonces, next um, exercise says rewrite the unmarked sentences above as imperatives. Si usted dijo que la número dos no era imperative, haga la imperative. Si la tres era no imperative, make it imperative. Okay, todas las que no dijimos que not imperatives. Now I want you to make them imperative sentences. Les doy otros dos minutos, me avisan. All right, let's see. Number two, dijimos que era not imperative. You need to follow the instructions exactly. How do we make it imperatives? Instruction exactly. Follow the instruction exactly. Very nice. Follow the instructions exactly. Nada más. Follow the instructions exactly. Very good. What about number three? I want you to always look both ways before you cross the road. Always look both ways before you cross the road. Excellent. Always look both ways before you cross the road. All right. Number number five. Please pick me. Please pick me up at seven o'clock. Yeah, this please evening. pick me up at seven o'clock this evening. All right. 
And number nine, I don't want you to cut down that tree. Cut down that tree. Don't Which cut that tree. Don't, right? Don't cut down that tree. Yeah, because I don't want you to do it. Very good. Okay, nice. All right, guys. Ah, uh, quiero ver. ¿Sabe qué? Vamos a hacer este acá. Este es número cinco. Donde dice cinco aquí. A letter D, sorry. Circle the correct forms. Ok. Ahí tenemos please, put, puts, or putting. Collect, collects, collecting, or collected. Usted lea la oración y eh, escoja la forma del verbo. A ver, voy a asignar aquí ahorita. Julio, usted hace la número uno. Kevin, number two. Uh, Victoria, number three. Trini, number four. And Katia, number five. All right. Y los demás lo vamos haciendo. Igual lo vamos a hacer de una vez juntos. A ver, Julio. Léala y díganos cómo nos quedaría, con cuál verbo, con qué verbo vamos a usar ahí. Please put your set pipe in the bicycling bin. Train in person. Good teacher. Ok, put, yes, please, put. Lo voy a subrayar yo acá. Creo, creo que puedo. Ajá, please put your used paper in the recycling bin. Y luego. The cleaning person collects it every day. It would be put. Y luego, the cleaning person, um, Julio. Um, collect. Collect. With S or no S? With S. With S. Very good, Julio. Collect. All right. Very nice. Number two. Who's doing number two? ¿A quién le asigné la dos? Okay, very good, Kevin. Tell me number two. Um. Um, breathe. Me a glass of water. Okay, bring. I have, water. I have use Run. running. Mm, okay. No. Uh, five kilometers mm -hmm. uh, and I feel it. so Excellent. so dehydrated. Dehydrated. Very good, Kevin. A ver, solo sería este. I have just run. Okay. All right, very good. Thank you. Nice. Thank you, Kevin. Very good. Number three. Who's doing number three? Me. Okay. Please remember to take a your books with your way for the school close. Ah, the school close or closes? Oh. Closes. Yeah, because it's only one school. Very good. Thank you. Number four, who's doing number four? If you want uh -huh. to keep your shoes dry, don't work on the grass. It rained hard, hard last night. It rained. Very good. It rained hard la here last night. Very nice. Number five. Who's doing number five? Me, teacher. Okay. Are you flying on the next fly? Mm hmm Okay. Please hurry to get 
to the airport terminal in time. Whoa, I don't know what happened. Something happened. Oh my goodness. Ah, what's going on here? Sorry, Rocio. Ah, Rocio, no sé qué pasó. Algo apreté. All right, are you flying on the next flight, please? Hurry. Hurry to get. Uh -huh. To get, very good. Hurry to get, very good. To the airport terminal in time. Your brother is waiting for you there. Very good, thank you. All right, guys. Igual mañana las podemos revisar detenidamente por si tienen alguna duda al respecto y luego empezamos con la unidad 2. Asegúrese de si no ha terminado su unidad 1, lo haga ahora porque yo mañana en la mañana voy a revisar. Paso la última asistencia para que se puedan ir a descansar. Ahora, eh, ah, pero, bueno, no sé. Carlos Roberto, si ¿sí se, se puede quedar un ratito conmigo, Carlos Roberto, que le tocaba el viernes de por sí. All right, thank you guys. Veamos. Eh, Adela Trinidad González con suegra. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Carlos Eduardo Melgar Rivas. Present, teacher. Carlos Roberto García Ramírez. Present, teacher. Cristina Roxana Romero de Araujo. Edwin Eliseo Orellana Vivas. Present, teacher. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Present, teacher. Johnny Omar Torres Mata. Present. Jorge Alfredo Argueta Flores. Present. José David Rivera Aquino. Present. Juan José Conrado. Julio César Merino González. Present. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. Misael Rivera Aquino. Present, Na teacher. Thank you. Nancy Lisette Rodríguez Escoto. Oscar Edilson Correa Spice. Present. Rocío Katia Maritza Martínez Cubillas. Present teacher. Rosa Lizette de Paz Hernández. Vicky Dinora Gutiérrez de Durán. Present. Victoria María Vázquez Juárez. Present. Oscar Armando Esquivel Quiñones. Present. María Melina Iraeta de Salinas. Present teacher. Very good. Daniel Antonio Luna. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for joining class tonight. I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night. Bye, guys. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Hi, Carlos Roberto, how are you? I'm tired, teacher. You're tired? <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But it's only one time, Carlos. Very good. All right. Carlos, I don't know if you have any questions about uh, what we have studied so far or any questions related to English. Related to the last, uh, the recently, last unit. Okay. No. De esta última sí, teacher. Es, ah, what es, happened? Uh -huh. Otra vez, no sé si lo puede proyectar, por favor. ¿De el, ¿El último ejercicio? Por favor. Sí, ahorita voy. Okay. Este. De eso mismo. Ajá. Podría, a ver, más o menos me gustaría entender la lógica. Cuando, por ejemplo, ya... Eso, la S, perdón. No, no se preocupe. La S. A ver, eh, ok, si quiere y vamos viendo una por una porque tenemos tiempo. Decimos please put, acuérdese cuando, si es imperativo, Carlos, si es en imperative, el verbo va a ir en su forma base, quiere decir que no lleva ningún cambio, ni S, ni ED, ni, ni IN, eh, ING. Eso regla siempre. Sí, cuando es imperativo es verbo forma base, ¿verdad? Sí, Okay. Entonces, por lo tanto, si decimos please, entendemos que no hay un sujeto, es un imperative, entonces el verbo sería put. All right. 
Va en su forma base, ¿verdad? Dice, okay, All please. right. Okay, so please put your used paper in the recycling bin. Pero luego hay un punto y continúa. The cleaning person, que es una persona, ya sea un hombre o una mujer, eh, recolecta o recoge la basura, al, 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 el papel reciclado todos los días. Es una oración en presente simple. The cleaning person collects. La tercera persona, ¿verdad? Sí. sí. O, o, no, sí. o she. Sí. <risa> Podría ser o una, o un ella o un él, pero solo es una. Es cierto. Uh -huh. All right. Entonces, esta es la, la famosa regla de la S, puede ser. Exacto, sí. Carlos. Muy bien. Okay. Sí, tercera persona singular, presente afirmativo. Ok. Ok, muy bien. Luego en la dos, si se fija, empieza nada más con el verbo. Por lo tanto, es un imperative, ¿verdad? Bring me a glass of water. Entonces, si es un imperative, ya dijimos que vamos a trabajar con verbo en forma base. Base. Bring. Bring me a glass of water. I have just run. Lo que pasa es que el have ya es un presente perfecto y lo necesito conjugar con un pasado participio, que en este caso sería este. All right. Es como un, pas es un presente perfecto. Sí, uh -huh. ah, eh, 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 tráeme un vaso con agua. Acabo oh, oh. de ir. Oh, oh. Ajá, he, he, he corrido, ¿verdad? Entonces tenemos que usar eso. Five kilometers. Yeah, five kilometers. And I feel ahorita, ya hoy en este momento, ya me siento. I feel so dehydrated. Obviamente no puede ser feels porque con I no aplica la regla de la S. Feeling, porque no tenemos el verbo to be para decir I am feeling. Mm -hmm. Y felt, no porque dice que se siente cansado, se siente, perdón, deshidratado. Ok. Veamos la tres. Please remember. Sí, sí, ya empezó con please, decimos es an imperative, it's an imperative sentence. Please mm -hmm. remember to. Eso ni, si tenemos un imperative, ah. el verbo sería cuál, Carlos? Ah, sería la forma base, ¿verdad? Take. Okay, take, muy bien. All your, uh -huh. All your books with you before the school. ¿Cuántas escuelas son? Una. Una. Entonces decimos closes. Y esto es como un it. ¿Perdone? Sí. Es it, en este caso. Sí, exacto, Carlos. Muy bien. Sí, es un it. Aplica. Exactamente. Vez. Aplica la regla. Muy bien. Number four, if you want. Aquí tenemos el you. Obviamente, si hay un you aquí, no puede llevar ese. Ni wanting, porque no hay un verbo to be. Y no es si tú quisiste, ¿verdad? Sino si tú ah. quieres, if you want. If you want to keep your sister. Mm. Uh -huh. Don't walk. Excellent. Sí, esa, esta segunda parte se vuelve imperative. Don't walk uh -huh. on the grass. Uh -huh. It. Y nos guiamos por. Rain. Uh -huh. Exacto. Nos vamos por el last night, ¿verdad? Que ya pasó. It rained. Very good. It yeah, rained. Yeah. Uh -huh. Are you. ¿Qué dice you? Flying. Flying, sí. Acuérdense que el ING también se puede usar en contexto futuro. futuro y ¿verdad? next, sí, y next flight ya se vuelve futuro. Are sí. you flying on the next flight? Are you flying on the next flight? Flight es, es vuelo. Sí. Uh -huh. ah. Así es. Y luego dice, please. ¿Mm? Si vemos, please, decimos es un imperative lo que sigue, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. This is for base form. Excellent. Okay. Please hurry. Ajá. Uh -huh. To get, gets, getting or got. Mm. Está hablando en futuro, ¿cierto? ¿sí? Podría ser Gary. No, no tengo duda. 
Pero mire aquí algo? dice please hurry, ya se, vol se volvió imperativo. Eso sí. Ajá, Eso please es hurry to. So it's good. Excellent, ah, muy bien. Acu y esa es otra regla, Carlos. Cuando usted vea el tú como partícula, entonces el siguiente verbo es un, es un verbo en forma base porque es un infinitivo. To get, to go, to come, ¿verdad? Es cuando sea tu partícula. Sí, sí. Que es diferente a lo que pasa que es la misma palabra, pero una funciona como preposición to go, ¿verdad? O I go to the park. Sí. Esa es preposición, pero en este caso, cuando forma parte de un, de un um, verbo en infinitivo, al tú se le llama partícula. Uh -huh. All right. Oh. To the airport terminal in time. Your brother is... Waiting. Waiting, muy bien. Sí, porque aquí tenemos el is. Cierto. ¿Verdad? Entonces lo conjugo con un ING. Siempre que tenga ese verb to be, es uh -huh. que usar el ING. Así es, Carlos. Sí. Ah, por eso ya no era getting. Ajá. Ajá, También exacto. Si sí, no. Ok. Ajá. Muy bien. Siempre es baseball. Ok. Sí. Están bien interesantes estas oraciones, Tiche. La segunda me gustó porque. Bueno, aquí combina presente y futuro. Sí, de <risa> todo. Ajá. <risa> Está bien. Sí. sí. De hecho, mañana lo vamos a ver como más despacio porque así como a usted le quedó dudas, estoy seguro que estoy segura pues, que a varios les quedó así como, ¿y por qué, verdad? <risa> sí, claro. Así es que igual, sí, lo vamos a ver mañana, pero así usted ya, ya se va con eso. Ya llevo adelante. Sí, Exacto. Gracias. Very Ahí, good, Carlos. Thank you, teacher. Good You're time. very welcome. Lo veo mañana. Okay. Good night. Good night. Descanse. Good night. Bye. Mañana. Gracias, teacher. Bueno.